Hi, this is Sunil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the preprocessor directives in C++. So first of all, what is a preprocessor? A preprocessor is a small program which is going to run before the compilation process. This preprocessor allows us to use some preprocessor directives and by using that we can uh, perform a lot of operations you know which you know which we're going to learn in the upcoming tutorials and you know by using that preprocessor directives you can make the compiler to compile you know certain parts of the code you know depending on our instruction you know which we're going to learn in the upcoming tutorials so here you know we're going to learn about one preprocessor directive called hash include so we have already used this preprocessor directive hash include to include the header file to our program so by using this hash include preprocessor directive we can include a header file or any other C++ source file to our program. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, you know, I'm gonna teach you how to include another C++ source file to our program. All right. First, what we're gonna do is in our uh, project preprocessor directives under this source folder, I'm gonna select that and then go to this file and new, and I'm gonna create a file and I'm gonna select C or C++ source and click on this go. And then I'm going to click on this next and then I'm going to select C++ next and here we need to specify the file name with a full path. So what we're going to do is in that newly created C++ source file, we're going to define a class called person. So I'm going to name that file as person underscore class. All right. And also make sure that you have the extension .cpp and save it. And here click on this finish and that's it now you guys can see under this sources folder we have two c++ source files you know one is main.cpp another one is person class.cpp now in our person class.cpp we're gonna define a class called person so we're gonna use the keyword class and then person the name of the class and here just for the demonstration purpose we can have two private members so let's say string name and int age and then we're going to define the public access specifier and we're going to have a constructor you know which is going to take two parameters let's say string name and int age so in this constructor we're gonna initialize our name and age so I'm gonna use this arrow operator name equal to name you know the local variable and then this arrow operator age equal to age all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a simple method you know which is gonna print out this name and age so I'm gonna call it as void display and this method just gonna use see out I'm gonna write am and then I'm gonna refer name and then I'm gonna insert and I am and it's gonna be age years old and let's end this line all right now when you define a class in a separate source file at that time you have to close the class definition with a semicolon so here after this class definition we need to add a semicolon otherwise you know we're gonna get the error all right now in our main.cpp what we're gonna do is we're gonna include our person class.cpp so i'm gonna use hash include and then in double quotes i'm gonna write person underscore class you know the file name dot cpp the extension so here we are using the double quotes to include this person class dot cpp and we are using this angular brackets to include the io stream header file so what is the difference between this so the difference is the way the preprocessor is going to search for these files. So when we use this angular brackets, the C++ is going to search for this file IO stream in some special directories, you know, that are defined by the creator of the compilers. And when we use this double quotes, you know, the C++ preprocessor is going to search for this file first 
in the folder where we have created our project. So here the C++ is gonna search for this file person underscore class dot cpp first in this sources folder and if it is not present here then it's gonna search in the other directories you know in the other specific directories and here normally we use this angle brackets to include the standard header files and uh, you know this double quotes to include the user defined source files all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object of this class person so in my main function i'm gonna write person and let's say anil and we need to pass two parameters let's say anil and 24 then i can call the display method so anil dot display and i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna build and run this and now we're gonna get some errors i think yes we're gonna get the error so i'm gonna open up the logs and it says string does not name a type okay that is because you know here you know when we use this hash include preprocessor directive you know the preprocessor is gonna include the contents of this io stream class at the beginning and then it's gonna include the contents of this person class and then we have this using namespace statement so here in this person class dot cpp we have used you know the cout and the string types you know these are defined inside this std namespace and that's why you know we are getting the error so what we can do is we can cut this statement and paste it here you know after the inclusion of this io stream header and now if i build and run this we're not gonna get any error and you guys can see i'm anil and i'm 24 years old so a preprocessor is a software or a small program you know which is gonna run before the compilation process and we can use this hash include preprocessor directive to include the header files and some uh, source files to our program so thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial